All right, we're on to example two in latitude and longitude. And this one, we've basically got um, a, sort of a, a sphere here, which is to represent the Earth. And then you've got your uh, meridians of longitude and your parallels of, of latitude here. It says, answer the following questions by referring to the diagram. Question A, what are the coordinates of point A? All right, now what you'll notice is a couple of things. Point A um, lies on the equator, which is zero degrees. Now, sometimes we get mixed up between what is latitude and what is longitude. So I'm going to give you a, a little technique that I've heard of. Latitude, a lot of, what a lot of people do is they say latitude, flatitude. And the reason they do that is if you think of the word flat, they are the lines that come across come across the kind of like horizontal lines which are flat all right and that's how people remember which one's which so point a has a latitude of uh, zero degrees it's on the equator and then the longitude is the one that comes up and down so the longitude is 35 degrees east longitude is 35 degrees east very important you put your easterly coordinate in and when it asks for coordinates you don't write the latitude and longitude separately what you do is you go zero degrees comma 35 degrees east notice that it goes latitude then longitude just like it's written up here latitude then longitude all right looking at point b now which is here um, we start with our latitude, which is the the line, basically the line that goes across ways. And in this case, it's 40 degrees north. All right. And then our longitude is like our vertical line. So our longitude goes up and down. And you'll notice the longitude is zero degrees. All right, so we go latitude first, 40 degrees north first, longitude last, zero degrees. All right, now question C states, what are the coordinates of a point 50 degrees due south of point A? So here's point A, and if we go 50 degrees due south, um, it basically means we're going to come down about here, and I'll draw my parallel of latitude which is going to be 50 degrees below the equator so that's my new coordinate and the coordinate is going to be latitude is going to be 50 degrees south we'll right uh, we should put a south there but we'll fix that later and then our longitude is going to remain the same. It still remained on this 35 degrees east longitude. So for our coordinate, we're going to write 50 degrees south first, latitude first, longitude last, 35 degrees east. All right, question D, last one. What are the coordinates of a point 30 degrees due west of point B? All right, so if we go west, that means to the left, so maybe out here somewhere, and we're going to have a new um, meridian of longitude coming down like so. Okay, so this started off at zero degrees, and now it's gone 30 degrees west. I mentioned before we should write south there. All right, um, now you'll notice um, that your longitude stays the same. You still remain on your 40 degrees north, sorry, latitude. Your latitude is still 40 degrees north, um, but your longitude has changed from 0 degrees to 30 degrees west. And we're going to write our coordinate with our latitude first and our longitude last. So you'll notice that your north and south coordinates are first and your east and west coordinates will come last. And that's, that is the end of example two.